Hey guys, Bstar29 here, coming at you with my recap of Braves Giants Game 3. You know, I didn't think I was going to make this recap till, uh, till tomorrow because I was uh, just so upset, so distraught, so, so shocked. Um, I can't believe what transpired at the end. I... You all probably know what happened, so... I mean, I'll give you a, a quick recount of what happened. t -Hud was on. Sanchez was even on her. He, um... No hit us through, like, five and a third. t -Hud was the first person to finally get a hit in the game. Um... And, uh, he would be the only person to get hit until the bottom of the eighth when Alex and Tosh let off with a single. Um, early in the game, Brooks Conrad made a, uh, made an air that, uh, could have, could have crossed the brace, but it didn't, he got out of it. Um, then the bottom of the second, or top of the second, um, Mike Fontenot hit a, um, hit a triple off the wall, and a Hayward got kind of shaken up, and then, um, a pop fly going out in the sun, um, <coughs> by Cody Ross, I think, and, uh, you just knew it was in the air, you like, uh, Conrad's gonna drop this. He drops it. Braves, uh, are losing one nothing, And, uh, that was all Sanchez seemed to have needed. Uh, but then, like I said, bottom of the eighth comes. Gonzalez gets single. Brooks Conrad comes to the plate. And he's the forgotten about thing in the game. Um, to bunt Conrad, or to bunt Gonzo over, pops up. Pops up to, uh, the third baseman. Oh, no. And, uh, they pinch hit Eric Hinsky. Well, they pinch hit originally hit, had Troy Gloss, but then they switched him for, um, for Eric Hinsky because Sergio Romo got called into the game. And, uh, Eric Hinsky then took over. And, uh, on a 2-2 pitch, um, boy, I really wish this, I really wish this recap was happier because this moment right here was just unreal. Hinsky ropes one down the line just over the fence, hits the foul pole, bounces into the, um, into the little space in between the stands and the fence. The Braves are now winning 2-1 all of a sudden, and it's just surreal. I and everyone else at Turner Field is losing their minds. Um, we're about to win the game. The momentum has shifted in our favor, uh, even though it was already in our favor. At this point, all I'm thinking of even though I'm too afraid to always say these things out loud, but I was thinking it's my head. We're going to win this game. And we're going to win game four, hands down. And we are going to be an LCS. This is, this is just written. Uh, you know, I mean, this is just how it's going to be. The Braves are not going to lose this game. Craig Kimbrell has been on. And uh, it's going to be enough for the Braves to, um, to get the win. Craig Kimbrell comes on, gets the first batter, uh, fly out, uh, Travis Dishkow walks, questionable calls, but, um, but anyway, and then might know, but, you know, they were like, he had like a one-two count, ended up walking him, uh, strikes out Andres Torres, and then t one strike away, we have two at, we have two strikes, we're one strike away from winning, Freddy Sanchez gets a hit up the middle. At this point, you know Bobby's gonna come get Kimbrell. But you don't want him to, and I, I, I think that taking him out was the wrong decision. I think that Roger McDowell and the whole infield and Ryan McCann should have come and talked to him. So it's going to be okay, and I think he would have gotten Huff, who is actually better against righties than he is lefties. But we'll never know if Kimbrell would have gotten me out. Well, then comes Dunn, and at this point, um, this is the point where I really get nervous, because I think that Dunn is probably going to give up a base hit to tie the game. He throws one strike, and ties the game. Braves end up, um, Braves end up, sorry, I had to mute my TV. I don't know if that was getting too loud. Um, Braves have tied, now the game is tied off, off the line throw by Hayward. McCann, like, stumbles over his wrist. Things aren't looking good. Here comes Moylan. Now, at this point, I've almost lost all energy because I can't believe we just blew it. And, uh, you know, I didn't know if we were going to give up the lead or not, but then a little hard hit ball by Posey. Uh, Moylan gets the hard hit ball by Posey, 
And I think, okay, we're out of it. No, almost Buckner-esque. It gets through Conrad's legs for the third error of the game. And the Giants all of a sudden take the lead 3-2. to two. Conrad has now made four errors in the series. And has set a DS record. We always like to say as Braves fans that the injury, the injuries haven't piled up, that we don't, we can overcome them. But um, I think it has caught up with us. Uh, no Chipper, no Prado, uh, no, you know, and then now no Wagner. But I think the biggest ones that hurt were especially Prado going down. At the moment, we didn't think much of it because, like, he's already playing hurt anyway. But, uh, came back to bite us big time today. And no Wagner. I really had faith in Kimbrell. I thought Kimbrell was going to do it, but, uh, I think he could have, but we'll never know. And, uh, now the Giants, and of course the Giants went on to win. We knew there was no way the Braves were going to come back from that. So the Braves are now down 2-1 in the series, facing elimination, and uh, I can't help but think it's it's all over. I mean, you know, you try not to give up, but um, at this point I just wish that Pinsky hadn't hit the home run that we had lost one nothing. I think that would have been better. Uh, I looked at our stats, we are now hitting 165 with 37 strikeouts in three games. And, uh, it, you, I've never experienced a game that has such a wide range of, emo a wide range of emotion. You go from depressed to ecstatic to even more depressed in a matter of, a matter of 30 minutes. And, you know, I mean, you know, you kind of have faith like, oh, the Giants, um, blew that game and then they, uh, came back and won. That was a little over that, but you know, but yeah, you know, they they blew that game and they came back in one game of three, but theirs wasn't as quick as ours, and I just think that uh, I don't think the Braves can do it, but you never know. I mean, like I said, <laughs> I've always said, uh, it's completely unpredictable, and who knows. Uh, but, like I said in the beginning of my re my preview, that Troy Goss should have started. But he didn't. And it ended up costing us. Big time. Big time. Uh, we got D-Lo going around tomorrow against now Madison Bumgarner, where it was, where it was one strike away from being 10 months to come. But, um... You know, even if we win, I don't think we're going to win the series. Uh, but, maybe they can bounce back. Well... We'll see. Um, all right, guys. C Star Twenty Nine, signing off. I will see you uh, tomorrow with a preview of Game Four.